Hey everybody, Jason Kretzky here with TrendSpider, and I'm excited to go over some really interesting new functionality features that we've added to our popular seasonality widget. Let's jump into it. Now, if you're already familiar with the seasonality widget, you understand that it helps a trader or investor visualize seasonal trends for any security by showing us the relative performance of that security per a particular time series. You can filter by month of the year, week of the year, day of the week, and hour of the day. It's an incredibly useful tool for visualizing seasonal trends, and we've just made it even more powerful. Let me show you how. When you go into the seasonality widget, you will now see a new drop down menu next to the time series drop down menu. This new menu is set to change percentage greater than zero by default. Classic seasonality focuses on price changing as time goes. So if you've ever used the seasonality widget, this is the setting that's always been available. I'm gonna open this up here and we're gonna see all of the new settings that are available. The next two options below change percentage greater than zero show us relative volume. For those that are not familiar with relative volume, it's simply a tool that allows us to compare the current volume versus the average. If today's volume is equal to the average volume over a period of candles, then your relative volume value will be one. If today's volume is greater than the average, it will have a relative volume value greater than one. If it's less than the average, that relative volume value will be less than one. In the relative volume greater than one setting, we'll simply be able to see the percentage of time in which the volume is greater than the average. In the relative volume greater than two setting, we'll be able to see the percentage of time in which volume is greater than two times the average. Next, we have the four RSI options here. RSI, of course, is relative strength. So RSI greater than 70 shows us the percentage of time that a security has an RSI reading that's above 70. RSI greater than 50 shows us the percentage of time that a security has an RSI reading above 50. RSI less than 50 shows us the percentage of time that a security has an RSI reading below 50. And finally, RSI less than 30 shows us the percentage of time that a security has an RSI reading below 30. Next, we come to the MFI filter. MFI stands for Money Flow Index. For those unfamiliar with Money Flow Index, it's a momentum indicator that measures the flow of money into and out of a security over a specified period of time. It's related to RSI, but incorporates volume as well. So for the MFI greater than 50 setting, it's filtering for the percentage of time a security's MFI reading is greater than 50. For the MFI less than 50 setting, the tool is filtering for the percentage of time a security's MFI reading is below 50. Finally, at the bottom here, we see SMA dist percentage options. Dist is short for distance in this case. These three options allow us to see the percentage of time that a security is above its 20, 50, and 100 period SMAs respectively. Now that we understand what each setting means, let's look at a few examples. In this first example, I've selected the RSI below 30 on the weekly time frame here on SPY. And we could see it's a very rare occurrence that SPY trades uh, with an RSI that's less than 30. The 10th, 11th, and 12th weeks of the year, about 5% of the time. 34th week of the year, about 6% of the time. And then the 40th through the 47th weeks of the year, about 6% of the time as well. Let's look at another example. We're now looking at the IBM chart, and specifically, we're looking for relative volume greater than two on the weekly time frame and the percentage of time that's the case. We could see that the 42nd week of the year historically has the greatest chance of seeing these elevated volume levels. 32% of the time on the 42nd week of the year, IBM is experiencing greater than uh, two times average volume. So there you have it, folks, a quick breakdown of all the new features available on the Seasonality Widget. We hope you find these new features helpful, and we look forward to adding even more functionality to this tool in the future. Happy trading, and we'll catch you next time.